Hello YouTube. <clears throat> right now I'm going to try for the first time to use my Harbor Freight uh, mini mill to uh, machine the magwell area and create a nice bevel. Uh, basically it's a very thick frame so I've already positioned the cutter so that it's in the center of the frame um, by using one of the edge finders and I am thinking that I can push the magwell uh, bevel a little bit into the mag uh, into the mainspring housing so we'll see how that looks sorry for the light um, here I'm just trying to find the depth I want the magwell to extend to and uh, the goal was basically to try and extend to almost the edge of the frame final pass As you can see, I'm actually spinning the bit a little bit too fast um, and uh, feeding very slow. I'm just trying to see how clean of a cut I can I can get. And uh, you see, I'm trying to <clears throat> to do both climb cuts and conventional uh, cuts um, just to see just to see how the mill handles uh, those cuts and how how the bit will handle uh, removing material. And it seems it seems like it's a very capable mill for being so small, of course. I'm gonna take a finishing pass right now. I just lowered the cutter by uh, one thousandth, so we're gonna turn the mill on. Here you see I've uh, I've decided to do a conventional cut first. So once I'm done with that, I'm just gonna roll the cutter. Uh, in climb milling, uh, just just to see if it uh, picks up any any uh, chatter marks, which you can actually see in reflection a little bit. Um, so <clears throat> once I'm done with uh, with conventional, I'll do I'll do a cleanup pass, uh, basically a climb cut, um, and. I'm actually kind of impressed. I mean, you can see that the mill is not really struggling. So I'm, I'm kind of pleasantly uh, surprised and maybe even a little bit impressed with this mini mill. That should do it. <clears throat> uh, now by hand, I'm going to clean up the front and uh, just smooth everything and roll the edge in. Um, but that should be done. All right, so I cleaned everything up. Here's what we're looking at. Let me zoom you in. There you go. That's how the magwell turned out. Uh, there's just a few sandpaper marks. Those are not deep scratches. So, little chatter we can see right there. But overall, it's not bad. So. That's it right there. So here's basically a finished pistol. I decided against going with the bottom edge. I don't know why I like this pistol exactly as is with the square slide uh, bottom. So I'll leave it as is. I like the treatment in the front here uh, that there are no steps. And uh, just overall it's a pretty good pistol. So. 
can't wait to uh, send it out to uh, hard to get hard chromed <clears throat> obviously all of these black parts uh, blued parts are going to uh, be chromed as well so it'll be a nice silverish uh, color pistol I'm not sure about the screws I might I may need to replace those uh, I don't know if they hard chrome screws as well and I'm not sure about the trigger but if they do uh, that part needs to be enlarged quite a bit um, because of how I showed uh, it's a little loose in the previous video so <clears throat> we'll see we'll see how it turns out hopefully soon thank you for watching